is in Minneapolis where you'll find a little bit of everything, and it all comes with a story. City salvage is exactly how it sounds. They take old, unwanted items and turn them into things that home and business owners simply have to have. In this week's Finding Minnesota, John Lawrenson shows us how they turn one man's trash into another man's treasure. City salvage basically sounds right because uh, Save the City is our local. On the outside, the sign reads Mandeville Meat Equipment and Supplies, a tribute to this building's former life. But inside, cleavers and butcher knives have been replaced by a slice of random things. But this is what you guys do. It's what we do. We've never, uh, never failed. For nearly 50 years, John Ackley has had an eye for architecture, specifically old buildings that are about to meet their demise, historic houses, Swedish churches, even nightclubs. For him, what's inside is like finding buried treasure. Does it break your heart a little bit to see some of these places go down? Absolutely. It's tough to say no to a lot of things. Gee, that door came out of this man, the Pillsbury Mansion, this uh, um, toilet. You know, came out of Frank Lloyd Wright's house. Which is why John and his partner Jennifer Jansen go cross country trying to save relics. They take what's old and make it new again, repurposing with a purpose. I'm not sure what that is, but somebody's going to buy that eventually, right? Oh, yeah. There's a customer for everything. From small oddities to bigger sellers. I like being able to touch something knowing that it has history. It intrigues me. And I like finding out. I love doing the research. And finding the stories. There are about 200 wooden doors for sale, along with lighting and old records. John himself is in the Minnesota Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and his picture may or may not be for sale. We were in a band back in the 60s called the Novas. We did a song called The Crusher. But his pride lies in his bars. I've had a lot of practice belling up to bars, and this one looks like it'd be a nice one. He's found them in old warehouses and clubs where business has gone dry taking days to tear them down and haul them back, sometimes from coast to coast. Then he puts them back together and gives them new life. This one actually uh, is a fabulous bar, 1938, all stainless steel, all hand-built. The chase, I mean, it's, uh, that's a huge part of this. To, you find something, you hear about something, uh, and you find it and you save it. Architects, designers, and builders have all become customers. But now there's a new generation that's showing an appreciation for artifacts. They're buying into John's motto, which is, when in doubt, salvage. I think they're realizing the, the, the beauty, the artistry uh, that is in a lot of these older pieces that you will never see again. Uh, matter of fact, a lot of these trades and crafts have, have totally vanished. I think the stories sell themselves, sell the product themselves. In Minneapolis, John Lordson, WCCO 4 News. John says one of the most random things he's sold so far is about two dozen movie theater seats to a company in Japan. For more information on City Salvage and what they have in store, go to WCCO.com and just click on links.